welcome back to my Let's Play of Sonic Adventure. Last time we defeated um Chaos Six and met Chaos not Chaos of Gamma and Big. So today we're going to go on to our ninth and um actually second to last level. So yeah, so it's really all we're gonna do in this episode, cause next episode's gonna be the big finale of Sonic Story. So, anyways, let's get right into it. Level nine, Lost World. Now don't get get this from confused with, <coughs> with Sonic Lost World. It's cause they have the same names doesn't mean it's anything alike. And uh, speaking of Sonic Lost World. That game actually was pretty alright. I mean, I I only had the um, 3DS version, but uh, I, I really liked it. I haven't fully played through it yet, but uh, like 100% it yet, but it's a pretty cool game. Anyways, we're getting way off topic. Just started st talking about Sonic Lost World for some reason. Anyways, whoa, okay, didn't see that coming. Yeah, this level is has a lot of puzzle, like, a whole lot of puzzles. So it's like three to four, maybe even five puzzles in this one level. So just be prepared to solve a lot of puzzles. That's all I really gotta say. Yeah, so we just have to hit the switches. This is not one of the switches though. This button actually raises the water level. So uh, the snake is gonna take us to some of the switches. So. And, uh, basically, some of the switches will be on different water levels, so you're gonna have to press that button a couple times. So, But here is our first switch, the blue switch. So, we have to hit three of these, I believe. Yeah, three. So, we already hit one, so we need two more. And, uh, press this button. And, can I actually... No, I, I don't think I can jump up there from here, but just catch right on the snake and it will take us to our second switch that was really quick actually the green switch so we, only, we actually only have one more switch left the red switch and that's like the kind of not really the harder one to get but it's like see it's right there so it's kind of a long snake ride but uh anyway so that's really it for this room once we hit the red switch and then go through the door so, uh, yeah. Where is this switch? I think it's right here, is it? No, what? I thought, okay. Just jump back, jump back on the snake. It'll take you to the switch. Here it is. And you know, when the snake goes underwater, you don't really have to worry about drowning, because it doesn't go underwater long enough for you to drown, so it's nothing really. <coughs> Jeez, anything to worry about there, so. Yeah, finish our first first puzzle in this level. Anyway, so now, where's this ledge? You have to be careful about, for making this jump, because sometimes you can just jump right off and- Oh! Oh, dang you, there was a ledge right there. Sometimes you can, like, just overshoot your jump and jump right off the ledge. Then you'll have to die and start the puzzle all over again, so, yeah. Now we're gonna get to our second puzzle once we come around here. Yeah, so this puzzle is pretty easy. This room is pretty easy, but sometimes like angling the lights to um meet the mirror can be pretty hard. Like not really hard, but kind of confusing to do. Cause like the light is clearly on the mirror, but for some reason like you have to. I don't even really know how to. Sometimes you just gotta keep on messing around with it then you'll find your way like you can go you can go this way it basically will take you to the same area so I'm just gonna go this way instead it take you end up in the same area so it doesn't really matter which way you go anyways yeah I got another one of these sometimes they can be pretty easy but not this time uh, take care of that guy I think we should get another light here uh, yep Okay, see that light for some reason always used to give me trouble when I'm playing it. Oh, jeez! No! No! 
what the heck just happened there? My controller went out. Like, it just totally had a spaz attack right there. This controller is not really good. I want to use my other controller, but it's not working right now. So I basically have two controllers that aren't working. Well, one is working, but this one isn't working that well. So, uh, wow. I still attacked him, but he still, like, attacked me. I don't know if that makes sense, but, uh... Anyway, so we have to start this area all over again. Luckily, it's not... We didn't do that much in this area. I think we got, like, halfway, so... It's not that much that we missed. Anyways... Sometimes... This, as I said, I believe last episode, this game can get pretty glitchy in some areas, to whereas you can, like, totally just run off a, uh, platform even though you basically did nothing. Well, it usually matters whether on the game, or what system you're playing on, or what controller you're using, so, uh, yeah. <coughs> Jeez, I have the worst cough right now. Or, uh, you know, sometimes you can just, you know, suck. Or, I don't want to say suck, but, you know, overshoot your jump or something. Like, I've done a couple times in this Let's Play already. Anyway, so now we're going to go all Indiana Jones in this place. Just trying to escape the boulder. Should be getting a uh, magnet shield here. If we go, yep, magnet shield. So basically, all the magnet shield does it basically works the same as a regular shield, but you get um, like, like I want to kind of demonstrate it if you don't already know. It like attracts coin rings to you, so like you can go close to one and like attract them to you. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, so in this room is going to be our next puzzle. We have to come up. You jump, Sonic, Sonic, jump. I have to connect these blocks to where they light up. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, I think so. We have to come. I'm just gonna go this way. Again, you can take alternate pathways, but uh, they both they all lead you to the same place. What the heck just happened? Oh, jeez, seriously. This controller is spazzing out again. Oh, I hate it when it does that. I, I like, always dreaded that it would, like, just start doing that in the middle of a Let's Play. And sometimes, it depends on, like, I don't really know what it depends on, but sometimes it can, like, just go so, for so long, it can just, like, start spazzing out for so long that it takes, like, ten minutes to go back to normal. Wow. Wow. We actually didn't even need to press the button, so we're actually supposed to go that way? I don't really remember having to go this way. I haven't really played this level that- I haven't played this level that much, so... Oh jeez. Seriously? Seriously? Don't do this to me! Okay, good- it's a good thing this block was blocking us, because we would've ran right off that cliff. Or the cliff, so... Yeah, I, I think it's like, this is, this level is like, one of the, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Can I like, where am I supposed to go? I'm gonna try to, okay, so the block's right, the switch is right here. Okay, so this is gonna take us over here. Jump over here, okay, look out for that spike thingy. And then... Uh, turning block, not really much to look out for, but, uh, it's something. Anyways, attack that guy. And, now, we should be coming up near the end of this level, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Jeez. Sometimes, like, can, like, pressing this button can get pretty annoying. Because sometimes you can, like, accidentally jump on it again. Once you've got the light. Once you've lit the path, and sometimes you can, like, just jump on it again on accident. Anyways, so... Should be coming up near the end of this area pretty soon. 
another one of these fire block thingies. Not really much to look out for, except, you know, the fire. And, uh, yeah. So we come in here. Now this is where we're gonna do some speed in. No, not here. Where? Where? Okay, press the button, Sonic. Thank you. Charge up your light speed attack. And let it rip. I really like that, um, that addition of the light speed thingy. Yeah, we're already done with this level, see? Yeah, pretty easy level. Well, it does take a pretty good amount of time. Like, we're already up to almost nine minutes already of this level. this place. Where am I? This is really weird. So now we're in the past, and we kind of look like Sonic's fur, because the lighting kind of looks black, so it kind of looks like we're Shadow now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anyways. Let's just go over here. What's that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! Yeah, so T. Call basically just took her, took us to her past. And now we have to follow Eggman up through that little thingy right there. Let me see, what is this? I mean, obviously this will take us to the egg carrier. And, well, I'm guessing the egg carrier takes us to somewhere. Some place where Eggman lives or whatever. So anyways, look right there. It's Metal Sonic. Or, I think this is Metal Sonic. Let me see. It's Metal Sonic. No, it's Silver Sonic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, or if we come over here, we can see... No, this is Metal Sonic right here, you can tell. And I believe there's another version of Sonic somewhere over here. Anyways, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that pretty cool, like, Easter egg there. They have all the forms of the robot Sonic. But, uh, anyways... Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure. Next episode will be the finale of the Sonic story, so make sure to join us next time for the finale. And, well, we'll see you next time, I guess.